Hello, I'm doing a haul today from three, is it three? One, two, three, four different stores, four. Okay, um, I went to Big Lots, Walmart, Dollar Tree, and Dollar General. First of all, the Dollar General, it's just, you know, yummy goodness. Um, I just got this bag of peanut butter cups. Those are only two bucks. Figured I'd fill up my candy dishes. And then I got this big humongo bag of goodies. You've got Snickers, Three Musketeers, Twigs, and Starbursts in it. Nom, nom, nom. Then, um, I don't, I don't know if you can see on there, those, those have the price. The big bag was $5. The small bag was 2 Then I got these decorative leaves for a dollar. And I have a project that I'm going to be doing with these that I will tell you here in a minute. Then, let's see, let's see. Um, Dollar Tree. I got two of these Salon Selectives Damage Repair Argon Oil um, hair masks. Okay. And I like these hair masks because... They have got argan oil and vitamin E and sulfate free, which is very, very important. I oh, can see that. Then, I don't know if you can see right there. It says it is sulfate free. I do not know if my camera is focusing or not. Um, I only use them once or twice a week. And normally I buy a little bit more spendier um, hair masks, but for a buck a piece, these ones, I have used them. They work really, really good. They leave your hair really soft. You leave them in for three minutes. So basically after I wash with my shampoo and use my regular conditioner, then I'll put this in. And while I'm doing that, I will shave my legs and, you know, wash up and everything. And then I'll rinse it out. Um, it is rather strong. It has a very, um, a very perfumey, and that's what it looks like. It, it's got a very perfumey smell to it. So if you don't like things that are scented, you know, stay away from this. But if smells don't bother you, and it is a good smell, it is a good perfumey smell, um, then I would say get this because it works just as good as your five, six, seven, eight dollar hair masks that you can get elsewhere. Okay, the next thing I got, I just thought these were adorable. I got this little crow and he is a wind chime. And just, he's so cute. He's got the little sunflowers there and it's just the little bell like that. But yeah, he's cute. I don't think I'm going to put him outside though, probably inside because otherwise spiders will make their webs all over it. And, um, I want to keep him in pretty good shape. Then I got the Scarecrow. I'm like, he's the same. He's got the same kind of little bell at the bottom. But I thought he was cute. Very fall-like. They had one with a couple pumpkins on it. I didn't much care for those. And one with an owl that I wanted and they were sold out my Dollar Tree never has anything good. We have two Dollar Trees here in town. Not good. The stuff that other people are hauling, they don't have. And the stuff I see online, they don't have. And they were very limited on their Halloween stuff and they were already putting out their Christmas already. So I thought, you know, if I don't grab these few little things, you know, they're going to be gone within another week or so, which really sucks. Um, excuse me. And then I got these little pumpkin tea lights. I thought these were really cute. Um, I'll take it out of the package because there's probably some glare. But, yeah. A little tea light goes in there. It's just really cute to set on a table. You could probably even set them straight up if you wanted to as decorations. Because they're thick enough to where they'd sit. 
but I'm gonna lay mine down on my coffee table and put tea lights in it. I just thought those were cute. Um, they had some leaf ones. Um, they have four different colored leaf ones that I bought in my other Dollar General. I got three of the colored ones and they have a clear one. And I thought, well, I'll just grab me another clear one to make my set, you know, whole. No, didn't have it. Oh well. And then I thought these were really cute. Refrigerator magnets. Look at those. It's just really cute. And that's what it's got in it. It's got the turkey and the leaves and everything. And here's the back. They had quite a few different um, designs, and I probably should have picked up one more, but that should be enough for my refrigerator. I don't need, you know, to overload it with a bunch of stuff, but yeah, I thought those were cute. But like I said, I mean, they're, they're phasing out the fall and the Halloween stuff already at the Dollar Tree. At least the Dollar Tree, the Dollar Tree's by my house now. Yeah. Your Dollar Trees may not, but I'm just telling you what's going on here. Then I went to Walmart, and I got just some regular stuff that, you know, you don't want to see. Just boring stuff like toothpaste, or toothbrushes, and mouthwash, and all that kind of stuff. But, I got some more wax melts. I didn't get any fall. Um, I've been burning a lot of, like, really sweet fall candles and everything. And I just get to a point where it's like, okay, enough, enough. Enough is enough. I, I got to, you know, have some something fresh going on here. So uh, from Sensationals, I got Blackberry Cognac Holiday Cocktail, and that's that's what the wax looks like. Really dark, dark, dark purple, almost black. And this one, you know, I actually smell sandalwood in this one. I get a little, a tiny, tiny little hint of blackberry, but it's got a lot of sandalwood. It doesn't say sandalwood, but I can smell it. But it actually smells pretty good. I'm gonna give it a try, and I hope it smells good when it burns, for sure. Then I got Mainstays Apples and Berries Wax Cubes. And of course your Mainstays are a lot smaller, um, pretty red wax, but they're a lot smaller if you can see on the side, which I'm sure y'all know, but, ooh, I just stuck my finger in that wax. You see the difference between the size of the cubes, but this one just smells like apples and berries. It smells really good, and oh, I got wax all over my finger. It smells really good. <clears throat> All right, then I got Better Homes and Gardens Cinnamon and Spice. And yes, this is a holiday one, but pretty wax. I love Christmas. Um, Christmas. I love cinnamon um, around the holidays. Cinnamon, pine, um, cranberries, stuff like that. So I got this one to keep, you know, when it gets closer to after Thanksgiving and all that stuff, closer to the holidays. Um, I got Cranberry Mandarin Splash by Better Homes and Gardens. Oops. It's got dark orange wax. And this one just smells so good. It just smells so fresh. Ow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Cranberry Mandarin. Yes, I've had candles in this and it smells delicious. I love it. And it's just a fresh, like I said, after a while, the sweet, sweet stuff just starts getting to me and it's like I need, I need to freshen up my house. And then and the last one I got was Sensationals Cucumber Melon Refreshingly Crisp and Cool. Mm-hmm. Mm. I love the color of that wax. It looks like a green apple. I can definitely smell the cucumber and a hint of melon, like honeydew melon. It smells good. It smells really good. Okay. Big Lots. I got this guy right here. 
It's a jar that's got pine cones, and I think those are supposed to be acorns, pine cones and acorns, and then it's got this LED, um, this LED candle in it. And this is what it looks like on the top. And then what you do is you unscrew the lid and it's got a battery in there. Or you put batteries, it takes three AAA batteries. You put the batteries in there, but it's got the on and off switch there. And so then you can also put other stuff in here. If you don't like the pine cones, you can take them out and put something else in or add things to it. But it's really, really pretty. And this was, I disconnected the Try Me battery, but it's $15. Love it. This will sit on my mantle when Halloween is over. And that is why I got these. I got these to go in there with pine cones. And I also got these battery operated starry light string lights. And this takes three triple A batteries. It also says that you can, let's see, where did it say? Um, six hours of lighting up and 18 hours turning off timer feature so you don't have to worry about turning them on and off because I'm going to have to have the battery pack inside that thing and I don't want to have to keep unscrewing it to turn them on and off. Um, they had these yellow ones and they had orange ones and these were, I'm sure you can see on the back, $5 a pack. Um, let me take them out so you can see. And I'm going to put those, if I didn't already say it, I'm going to put those in that little dealy bob I got. But here's your battery pack. And here's your lights. And they're like little maple leaves. So I thought those would be really cute inside this. And with the leaves, it's going to be beautiful. So, okay, I believe that is it for my haul. Just a small haul, different stuff, but I haven't made a video in a while, so I thought I would get on here and say hey. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. I'm back. I forgot a few things um, that I thought I would include in this haul. Um, those leaf uh, tea light holders that I was talking to you about from the Dollar General. Here is the red one. Cute. Here's a green one. And these look like oak leaves. And then we got an orange maple leaf. And I use orange tea lights and just pop them in there like that. You can use any color. Go ahead and mix and match. You know, whatever you want to do. Those are really cool. And it was the maple leaf one. It was a clear one that I wish I had gotten now. But oh well. It's done and over with. Then another thing I got from Big Lots. I got this guy right here. Spirits, magic, and tricks. And just look at that little guy. He is so cute. He doesn't light up or anything, but what I think is cute about it, even the back of it looks like, you know, the pages of the book there. It's got really nice, nice detail on this. It's just a little bookend, but it's so cute. And he was $10. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave this one out year round though. I don't think I'm going to put him up. He's just too cute. Okay. <clears throat> Another thing I got from Bath and Body Works. I got this pumpkin luminary. It's got the leaf detail right there. And it's got the little, you know, like stem. There they can hold it with. Um, 
It's got the insert here that you set the candle in. It just fits right in there like that. But yeah, this is beautiful. I just, I saw this and it's like I had to have it. And I have a candle here and I'll set it in there. Um, these will also hold Yankee candles, Yankee jar candles, anything, just about any candle out there it will hold. But it's just beautiful when it's on display. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And this was normally, hmm, I want to say 53 something. But of course I used coupons, 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 and got it for a lot cheaper. Then this is something else I made. Um, I bought the Reform, it's an 18 inch Reform at Walmart for $2.00. Fifty cents or something like that, um, because Dollar Tree was out of their lease. Um, I bought the tool and I bought the burlap and the ribbon all from Dollar Tree. I made this. I don't know how well you can see it, but I made this wreath, and it is. A nice size wreath it is pretty large and as you can see it's got a spider web and a glow in the dark spider in the center of the wreath which I also got at Dollar Tree everything except for the wreath form I got from the Dollar Tree I got the little chenille pipe things to hold everything uh, to, to hold the spider on and to put a little loop to hang it on the door, but that's about it. Everything else I just tied on the wreath form. So this is what it looks like in the back. So I know it's hard to see it because this is such a this is such a big guy. But anyway, I love I love doing crafty things. But okay, this time I am really out of here. Um, and hey, I'll see y'all later. Bye.